TG Jakes and the album, the all, every all lies. That's why people get on my, my nerves talking about who you should be seen with. I do homeless shelters, I walk in prison ministries, I deal with murderers, I deal with rapists and killers because they're our children, our sons and our daughters. So can you take us through like what goes on like when you were there? What did I say when y'all asked me about the why was the T.D. Jakes at the Diddy party? The world of celebrity and faith has collided in a way that no one saw coming. A new scandal is brewing involving Bishop T.D. Jakes and Sean Diddy Combs, with leaked footage sparking debates and raising eyebrows across social media and church communities alike. The footage that emerged is making waves, and it's not just about a casual encounter at a high-profile event. It's deeper and more controversial than that. I went through a period in my life that I was just being crushed. My heart was broken. I was worried. It was one of the most distraught moments in my life. And I was literally crying when I told God this. I said, Lord, I hate this. I absolutely hate this. But I love you. And I know you will not allow me to go through this. As this leaked footage continues to circulate, it has left many wondering what T.D. Jakes one of the most influential pastors in America, was doing with Diddy, a music mogul known for his lavish lifestyle and controversial reputation. The situation has sparked conversations about faith, power, influence, and even the accountability of religious leaders. So if you are a follower of Bishop T.D. Jakes or simply curious about what's really going on, stay tuned as we break down everything you need to know. If it were not for my good, and though tears are running down my face and I cannot see my way out, if, if you suffered me to be bruised, it is only to make me better. And so I trust you when I can't trace you. Yeah. yeah. Because he that hath began a good work in me will bring it to completion. She'll bring it to completion. You yeah. cannot you convince me. Bishop T.D. Jakes is no stranger to controversy. Throughout his career, he's faced criticism and challenges, but this time, the situation seems to have escalated in a different direction. The leaked footage shows T.D. Jakes and Diddy in a setting that appears far removed from the usual church environment, leading to widespread speculation about the nature of their association. It's no secret that Diddy, despite his prominence in the music industry, has a reputation for hosting some rather wild and controversial parties. And for a religious leader of T.D. Jakes's stature to be caught up in this kind of environment, it's definitely raised some questions among his followers and the general public. When I grew up in the church, the sinners was not supposed to have the same atmosphere with the saints. You had to be able to se separate the two. So I'm looking at him as a saint going to a party that ain't nothing but sin, drinking, maybe fornication. So what exactly happened? According to sources, the leaked footage shows a gathering that took place at one of Diddy's private events. The content of the footage isn't explicit, but the atmosphere and setting have led many to question why a bishop would be present at such a function. For those who have followed T.D. Jakes, this is a huge surprise. And for many, it feels like a betrayal of the values he preaches. Man on man, woman on woman, he on she. But maybe he'd have to lay some hands on somebody. Maybe he'd have to save some souls. I know he got a contract with Revolt, so I'm just like, it, it, it's just real strange that he would be found at any kind of ditty party or any kind of uh, place with Diddy unless it's in a business atmosphere. Some insiders claim that there is much more to this story than meets the eye. It's rumored that the event wasn't just a party, but rather a gathering involving some high-profile individuals where discussions on various matters took place behind closed doors. This has fueled conspiracy theories about secret dealings and compromised positions, leading some to believe that there's a hidden agenda at play. If he had 250 tapes all over, 250 cameras all over the house, 
Somebody got caught stealing a cookie out the cookie jar. It could be your favorite pastor. It could be your favorite politician. But they didn't think they was being watched. And Brother Love was watching. Yeah, I mean, T.D. Jakes, he hasn't even came out and said anything. And him and Diddy was real cool. Hey, man. I know the people in the congregation over there is shaking in their boots because this man then led them probably, allegedly, allegedly, probably led them to damnation because those people's hearts are going to be broken if that man is seen on those tapes doing anything. Those in the church community are understandably upset. Many have looked up to T.D. Jakes for spiritual guidance and inspiration, and the footage has left them in a state of shock. Some are questioning his credibility, while others are coming to his defense, arguing that we should not judge without understanding the full context. Oh, I told y'all. Listen, man. I don't know what God has given me to see. But when we said, you know, the T.D. Jakes situation, I told y'all these people, I told y'all everybody finna start getting under there. Look at her, they feel the, the, huh. I told y'all 24 what's gonna happen. Huh. A lot of sheets gonna get snatched off. Yet, what makes this situation even more complex is that it's not just a case of a pastor being seen at the wrong place at the wrong time. There have been several claims and accusations about some prominent pastors being involved in questionable activities over the years. There's even talk about the grooming behaviors in some churches, with young individuals being manipulated under the guise of spiritual mentorship. I ain't come to convince you or nobody, because I know who I am. I came to hear the master say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. It has been said that grooming is a practice that happens far too often in various churches where certain spiritual leaders may use their position to gain inappropriate influence over young followers. They start by gaining the trust of these young individuals, engaging in conversations that gradually become more personal and invasive. From there, the relationship might evolve into something more inappropriate, and if the young person resists, they are often cast aside and treated as if they never mattered. Oh, uh, I told y'all. Listen, man. I don't know what God has given me to see. But when we said, you no, know, the T.D. Jakes situation, I told y'all these people, I told y'all everybody finna start getting under there. Look at her, they finna, the, the, huh. I told y'all 24 what's gonna happen. Huh. A lot of sheets gonna get snatched off. There are concerns that these behaviors are being overlooked because of the power dynamics involved. With influential figures like T.D. Jakes being highly respected, their followers may find it hard to believe any negative allegations, choosing instead to defend them without question. But it's crucial to remember that true faith seeks truth above all, and turning a blind eye to questionable actions doesn't do any favors for anyone. Some relationships are seasonal. Some opportunities are seasonal. And yet when we see the seasons change, we think the blessing has ceased. But it is not that the blessing has ceased, it is that the season has changed. And then there's the issue of Manasseh Jordan, who has recently shared shocking claims about being targeted by someone within the church. He spoke about experiences of grooming, providing text messages as alleged evidence. The details have been disturbing, showing just how deep these problems may run, not just in the secular world, but also in religious circles. What adds fuel to the fire is the leaked footage, which is now linked to the broader scandal involving T.D. Jakes, Diddy, and other powerful figures. Some have even speculated that there may be more compromising information that could come to light. Allegedly, Cassie, a former partner of Diddy, has handed over crucial evidence to federal authorities, 
including video recordings, a USB drive, and even a burner phone believed to contain incriminating details about various high-profile gatherings. When I talked about Michael Jackson, when I talked about R. Kelly, they canceled me for these things because why would you talk about another black dude? Race is not where the line is drawn. It's God's side and the other side. And we don't care nothing about the other side. Period. Period. All of these uh, big dick deviants is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. T.G. Jakes, any of them. The, all, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. And, 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 and anyone who takes that the wrong way know why they take it the wrong way. The truth is the light. The idea that this kind of material could potentially implicate multiple celebrities, politicians, and religious leaders has taken the situation to another level. If there is indeed evidence of illegal or immoral activities, it could lead to a scandal of massive proportions, one that could shake the foundations of many institutions. The question on everyone's mind is, what will come of all this? Will these leaders and influencers face consequences? Or will it all be swept under the rug? It's not just about Diddy or TD Jakes. It's about the principle of holding people accountable, regardless of their status. The church, like any institution, is not immune to scrutiny. And when it comes to leaders who preach high moral standards, the expectation is that they should live up to those same standards. All of these uh, big dick deviants is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is, T.G. Jakes, any of them, the, all, every, all lies will be exposed. T.D. Jakes has not publicly commented on the leaked footage. This silence has only fueled more speculation and rumors. Some argue that he is taking the time to gather his thoughts and prepare a response, while others see it as a sign of guilt or at least complicity. Whatever the case may be, it's clear that this incident has left a mark on his reputation, and many are watching closely to see how he handles the fallout. As this story continues to unfold, it is a reminder of the importance of transparency, especially among those who hold positions of influence. Whether or not Bishop T.D. Jakes has anything to hide, the situation serves as a wake-up call for the church to take allegations seriously and to demand truth and accountability from all its leaders. What did I say when y'all asked me about the why was the T.D. Jakes at the Diddy party? Yeah. What'd I say? Money. Money. And sex. That's it. Yes, correct. Were you surprised that there were so many cameras in his houses? No! That he's recording these... Oh, he is the J. Edgar Hoover hip-hop! What do you think about the leaked footage involving T.D. Jakes and Diddy? Do you believe there's more to this story? Or is it just another case of the media blowing things out of proportion? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Buzz Voices for more updates and the latest gossip in the celebrity world. Stay tuned for more and thank you for watching.